Breaking news amid uh, chaotic scenes here in Newry tonight. A very heavy police presence as one of the leading criminal cases of recent times comes to a conclusion. The criminal gang involving some of the leading figures among the GAA in Down and in wider society. And 29 people tonight on their way to Crumlin Road Jail to begin a sentence. The judge in handing down his ruling described them as some of the most heinous crimes ever committed in sport or indeed in the GAA. Among the 29, including the likes of the new county chairman, Sean Rooney, county secretary, Sean O'Gmacketeer, leading members of civic society, members of the Legislative Assembly, Chris Hazard and Sean Rogers. And then there's the foot soldiers, the men and women whom the judge in his ruling described as some of the uh, great criminal masterminds of their time. Hugh, Hugh Morgan, John Farrell, Maureen O'Higgins. Tonight they're on their way to Crumlin Road Jail. The police in a statement tonight say that the members of the association in Down and indeed society across the county and beyond should feel safe in their beds tonight knowing that these men and women are behind bars. Hardened criminals finally facing justice. It is an extraordinary case that has shocked the GAA world and brought a county to its knees. And it all began with the arrest of county officers at a meeting earlier this year. But tonight, 29 people begin their sentence at the notorious Crumlin Road Jail in Belfast. In handing down his ruling, the trial judge, considering an extraordinary case of infiltrating the enemy, fixture chaos, money laundering, even attempted murder, he rejected the simple argument that this was only a bit of crack, a fundraising jailbreak to raise money for county coffers. Instead, he said, this is a criminal gang. They're the lowest of society, men and women of disrepute. And only 24 hours after the appointment of managers and the feel-good factor, it has all disappeared. Tonight, these people are facing a long stretch here in Belfast, and Down and the wider world are thankful for it.